I just thought it'd be a good idea to make an updated video about something I said in my last video regarding the use of the conductive paint and how I've been able to use it to restore some remote controls. After I made the video, I was looking at the comment section of the video and a gentleman wrote me and talked about how he's had success simply by re, re uh, sanding. I don't, I don't know if he said sanding. I, I don't remember how he, he put said, it. He said paper. Oh, he said he used paper and he roughed up the, the he called it carbon impregnated rubber. And he simply roughed it up um, with some paper. And, you know, I started thinking about that. I, said, I thought, is it possible that all these years uh, that I've had it wrong that and I seem to remember instances where I'd clean the heck out of these things using alcohol and maybe even something else. No matter what I did, I couldn't get them to work, so I assumed it had to be some kind of coating on the surface. But if, but if it is just some sort of a buildup on the end here, and you take, for example, here's a fingernail file. I did an experiment today. I, I sanded the heck out of one of these things here, put it back in the remote to see if the remote would still work, and it did. And I'm I'm a little bit baffled by it, and I'm just thinking, well, maybe I told everybody wrong. So I, I suppose if I had a choice between conductive paint, which doesn't always last that long, and uh, using the paper like the gentleman said, or, or maybe even taking a fingernail file, you know, and cleaning off the, the surface, that would be a much better option. So anyway, that's basically all I wanted to say. I know a lot of people watch my videos, and maybe somebody's already gone out and bought some conductive glue or or conductive paint. Um, just want to give you an update. Uh, there might be another option. All right. That's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up.